Good evening, this is Excelsior Trading, and I am your host, Don Carlo, coming at you again in my fashionable house robe, Ralph Lauren. <clears throat> I still insist that no matter how big this channel gets, I'm never going to change my format. You see this grainy video quality, subpar audio, and subpar lighting? Yeah, this, this is what you're going to get. If you want professional, eh, go elsewhere. This is YouTube. But, uh, yeah, so today I'm going to be discussing the Baron Fig Squire pen. And this particular one is their brass limited edition Liberty model. And I'm going to explain to you what I like about the pen and what I don't like about the pen. So, clearly, it's made of solid brass. And instead of its usual little dagger slash sword marking, it has a, uh, a torch right here. And it says the word liberty. And then on the back, it says e pluribus unum and baron fig. So, they do mention their name. Now... I've been carrying this watch, or <laughs> watch this uh, pen for about two weeks as my everyday pen at work. I work in a hospital and I wear scrubs, and my shirt pocket has a pen, a, a pocket designed just for the pen, so it keeps it upright in the pocket, so I can just pull it out and use it. And for home, I bought one of Baron Fig's desk pen holders, and you'll see my Pilot Custom A23, and I just set it in there. One of the biggest knocks this pen has taken is they decided to go without a pocket clip. And that doesn't bother me because that raises the ergonomics. It's it, it feels smoother in the hand, especially to one hand activate the twist top. And just twirling it and fiddling with it. You know, there's no pocket clip to get in your way. Um, I also think they went with this design ergonomically because... Um, the company, Baron Fig, started out as a journal company, and they make journal cases that you put the journal in, and it's got a little pocket for the pen to slide into. Hmm. So, whether you're primarily going to be using this pen at home, where you can put it in a little desktop holder, or you work in a profession that has a pen design pocket that keeps the pen snug, or you're just going to use it for journaling, I mean, this is an outstanding pen. The ergonomics are amazing. It really, with the twist top, reminds me of the Sensa pen, which there's one in the Smithsonian to this day. Uh, Sensa. Uh, and actually, I Googled them, and now they're selling pens again. The company is reviving. They, they use their mechanism at the top to twist and release right at the very tip, which you'll see there's a little notch there. So you twist it. And that's how the pen works. Um, I can attest to how um, the standard line of Baron Fig Squires feels in hand because their precious metal line, which is totally a gimmick because none of them are made of precious metal. And I, I wrote them a lengthy email that they should use a term like premium or limited or exclusive. Use some other word. Don't call it precious metal if you're going to make it out of brass, copper, or steel. But brass, copper, and steel models like this one are twice the weight of their aluminum model. Uh, but I have to tell you, this feels amazing in hand. It takes very little pressure. But that goes on to the ink they're using. And I'm going to mention another thing that I don't like about their advertising policies is they, they like to declare that it's a, an American concept, an American design. But that they leave it at that. They, they're not going to say American made because nothing nothing on this pen is American made other than the idea, the concept, the design of the pen. Mm. Yes, I drink copious amounts of whiskey and cold lager to wash it down. But uh, yeah, back to the Liberty pen. Uh, I wish I'd be honest because as far as I can tell, and I'm unscrewing the back cap mechanism, which is how you refill it. 
There's only four components that make up this pen. There's the actuator cap, and there's the ink barrel, the ink cartridge, and there's a spring, which we'll put right there. And this very heavy, solid uh, brass construction. I mean, it's very well machined. Everything about the pen is amazing. I mean, I'd rank it 10 out of 10. I, I love using this pen. I'm going to continue to use this pen as my daily EDC. And like I said, I own pens that are hundreds of dollars. Sears, uh, a Pilot Custom 823. As you know, it's just short of $300. So I spend money on pens, and this is under 100 and even the brass model is only about 80 But going back to what I was saying, I don't like that they're trying to pitch this American-made premise because it's not. Yeah, they came up with the design. Apple designed the iPhone, but they don't talk about it being an American design because their Apple warehouse is in China producing them. And I guarantee you, since they won't announce where they produce their pen barrels, they're having them made in China. I, and I don't have a problem with China. I'm not saying I do. I they Their machining qualities for knives, watches, all sorts of things is, is not like the 1990s. It, 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 you know, they're making world-class products now. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad or iPod or whatever, it's all made in China. But don't try and pitch me on the whole Americana thing if you're producing your product elsewhere. So I'm assuming the barrel is made in China, but it's very well machined. The fit and finish is perfect. But now we're going to move on to another subject. And it's what led me to this pet peeve with them is their ink cartridge. They had the company smash Baron Fig written all over it. And their little slogan, the pen is mighty, the pen is a mighty sword. You know, they put all this on there. They had all this rebranded, but this is a Schmidt cartridge. This is a Schmidt Germany cartridge. And I'll tell you, Schmidt ink is phenomenal. It is smooth. It's bold. I go with the blue, and it's kind of like a cross between a royal blue and... A navy blue, it just pops on the paper. It's super smooth, it lays down wet, and it dries in a second. So no smudging or anything like that. It's a, it's a great ink. But this is Schmidt cartridge. And Schmidt is very cooperative worldwide. Schmidt doesn't create their own pens. They just create ink, and they create actuators. They create the parts that go into pens, but they don't actually create a pen. But it's made in Germany. And I think it's asinine for Baron Fig to be slapping their branding all over this cartridge. Baron Fig has nothing to do with this. this. This is a Schmidt ink cartridge. And to be even more thorough, their twist top, the steel twist top that they use to push the cartridge and actuate, this is a Schmidt part. This is made in Germany. So you have a German actuator that makes the pen function. You have a German barrel for the ink. And you have a barrel that's probably machined in China. You know, be honest on your page. Say, hey, you know, I had the pen machined in China. We've used a hundred-year-old German company to create the mechanism that creates a pen to deploy, and we're using Schmidt ink. Don't slap your branding all over it. And you still have a seller. So anyway, it's simple. It's, it's really like the Apple product of pens. It's simple, four parts. You got your brass or aluminum barrel. You slap that spring down in there. You put your cartridge in. And then you screw your actuator down. And you got to screw it about a million times to get it to actually actuate when it's all screwed down. There we go. The point is out, so it's done. And you go reverse to retract. Out. Retract. 
So yeah, very simple. They did design it so that it balances exactly at the halfway point, just like that. And without the pocket clip, it's very ergonomic for flipping and one hand twisting, jotting down a note, slapping it in your pocket. <clears throat> I really like this pen. <clears throat> I really don't have much bad to say. Other than the company needs to stop calling brass, steel, and copper precious metals, which anyone in the damn world knows are not precious metals. They're just simply not. They've got to upgrade their marketing capabilities as a company. And the next argument is don't try and cash in on the American made because nothing about this pen is American. It's, it's a barrel likely made in China. I don't know. Don't sue me. I don't have facts. But since they won't announce where their pen is made, their barrel is probably made in China. And then their actuator cap and ink are German. But it doesn't bother me. I mean, Apple Apple doesn't declare where they're made. And you love their products. And Android, computers, PCs, it's all made in China. That part doesn't bother me. It just bothers me that they try and cash in on the American concept, American design on their website, trying to like instill that this is an American product. It's not. It's Chinese barrel. It's German ink. German actuator to make the pump, the pen actually function. You know, that it's got a very, you can hear it. It's a very, a very satisfying click. It clicks open, it clicks closed, and you can do this all day with one hand. Like I said, I slip it in my work pocket i pull it out to write a note i actuate it it's ready to write i close it put it back in the pocket no problem i really could care less this does not have a pocket clip because my work uniforms have a pen pocket shaped like a pen so it sits in there and stays upright and on my desk like i said on my desk i bought one of their little plastic units that holds pens and stuff just pop it in there on the desk, pull it out, jot a note, put it back in. I also have one of their notebook cases. Because like I said, the, the company actually started out making journals. So here you go. Here's one of their cases. Just for the sake of the video. And I have one of their journals in here with a ruler and an extra ink cartridge. And in the center of the journal, where you close it, you can actually slide the pen. See? It's got a pen holder. If you keep it with your journal. So, the pen, the, the not having a pen clip really doesn't matter to me. Because, like I said, it's my everyday carry at work in my uniform. Ah, I'm going to close this case. Put this away. Getting all sorts of dirt attracted on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's very, very unoften I, I rate a product flawless. But besides some niche things like calling things precious metals or trying to cash in on the whole made in America when clearly it's not. It's Chinese and German. Um, as far as the product, it's it's amazing. I'm very happy with this pen. It's very ergonomic. And I love to write with it. And for two weeks straight, I've been using it at work. And you're not going to be able to pick up because my lighting and my camera is such crap. But this came a golden yellow. And being that it's brass or bronze, it's already toning very nicely. Especially by the tip. It's getting very dark right here where most of the skin oils tend to be from holding it. But I'm interested to see what colors this changes over time of using it, being that it's brass. And like I said, it smells a little coppery. But honestly, when it was brand new out of the box, it used to make my fingers stink. And now that it's getting a little patina, I only smell a faint metal smell, a very, very mild faint metal smell. And I think the more patina it builds, it's going to be a protective layer, and that's probably not going to happen. So anyway, 
I'm going to close this video out. This is the Baron Fig Squire, which is the model pen. And this is the limited edition Liberty in brass, as far as I recall. Brass uh, or bronze, I'm not sure, but probably brass. And yeah, uh, it's every bit worth what it's worth. It's 10 out of 10 stars as far as its function, its simplicity, the way it feels in your hand. And going with Schmidt ink, I'm so happy to have a barrel that I enjoy that utilizes Schmidt ink. Because Schmidt ink, it's very thick, it's very oily, it lays down wet, and it dries in a second. So it's fast drying, it's a perfect ink. And as pen connoisseurs, we care about how fast the ink dries and how it looks. And this, this pen really knocks it out of the park. I think I paid about 70, 80 bucks for this pen being the brass model. I think they're aluminum models, so for about 50. I'm going to have to get an aluminum model at some point down the road to compare it as far as how it feels in hand. But the brass and steel ones are just so heavy. You don't have to push down much at all. I mean, the weight of the pen really does all the work. You're just holding it and gliding it. And that's a comfortable feeling. I can imagine that for some years to come, this is going to be my daily carry at work at the hospital for 12 hour long nights. So this is Don Carlo signing out. Hope you enjoy this review. Um, and follow me for more reviews. Have a good night.